Hi, this is Greg again with Juices for Life. Today I'd like to uh, demonstrate for you a typical masticating juicer. And this is a masticating juicer and they pretty much all have some sort of a auger that they use. Many of them have a cutter internally in there and it's used to masticate which means to chew up the, uh, the produce. Some are vertical, most are horizontal like this Omega is. Let me disassemble this Omega so you can get an idea of how a masticating juicer works. This is the tamper or the plunger that we use to, to actually feed the produce then into the, into the barrel or screw area. This here is our, uh, is our hopper. And if I, I can take the front of this thing off and I will remove the, the screen here and this is the screw and finally I can actually remove the barrel this here is the barrel the screw this is the screw here or the auger and it fits directly into the barrel like this now when you put the screen in place you can begin to see a little more how this functions with the screen in place you can see that the uh, the produce gets chopped up by the spinning screw it gets fed forwards and then it's sort of trapped in here the only the only thing it can do is the juice gets squeezed out of this little screen here and the pulp then is forced out between that small opening between the end of the auger and the end of the screen any juice that gets that happens to flow back before it gets that far leaves actually out of the screen out of the bottom here okay so there's a couple screens that are on here now I'll, I'll assemble it again for you very slowly so you can see how this works this is the barrel that goes on here and this is where the juice comes out by the way here at the bottom okay and what I do is I lock it in place then I take the screw and I place the screw and lock it in here there's a, the electric motors back here take the screen set that in there and finally put that end cap on lock it all in place here all right Load the hopper on top get my tamper ready and then I have two containers I need one container to catch the juice that comes out of here and I need the other container then to catch the pulp that's going to come out of the end here all right um, I should be able to talk over the top of this because they're not very loud. Masticating juicers are nowhere near as loud as the centrifugal juicers. Okay, so I will go ahead and turn this on and hopefully, if we're lucky here, I should be able to remain speaking and you will be able to hear me clearly. Okay? I have turned it on. The first thing I'm going to juice is a carrot. You take the carrot, you simply place it in the hopper and push down on it. And the screw is just taking little bites out of it here okay and now you can see the juice is beginning to flow out of the bottom here that orange juice and you can begin to see the pulp now come out of the end I'll put another carrot in there so you can see this happening if you're paying careful attention you'll notice at the very very beginning a little bit of juice came out of the end here where the pulp is coming out of it that, that's actually perfectly normal that happens usually the very first time uh, when you start with the clean machine, okay? After that, all the juice comes out of the bottom and all you ever see coming out of the end there is pulp. Put a lot of carrots in here. Now these are prepackaged carrots and they were already pre-rinsed and so on. In terms of health benefits, I actually prefer or like a whole carrot including the tops, the greens, and the greens can be juice, they're actually very helpful. What I do is I snap it like this and then I feed the greens in through separately. Carrot greens are extremely tough and they'll actually, they can actually bog that motor down. Hopefully it'll keep running all the way through here. She grabs a hold of it, as you can see it pulls it all the way out and through and it's now being juiced and the juice is turning a little green. I'll take the rest of that fresh carrot and I'll feed that in here. Alright. By the way, it doesn't really take a lot of effort. I might look like I, I'm struggling to feed this thing in, but actually I'm not. Not really. Okay? Good. <clears throat> Alright. This here is a beet. 
This is a beet also. This one here has the greens, and again, I like the helpful benefits of eating the greens. So, after you rinse them off, after you wash the fruit here, what you want to do is cut these greens if you can, and you can feed them on through as well. <laughs> what doesn't go down, you can use a tamper to sort of force it on through. I can actually feed in quite a few greens at a time. And this works, you can, you, can, you, can, you can feed in lettuce this way, you can feed in spinach, you can feed in uh, parsley and so on, okay? This is what I've got for right now. The actual uh, <clears throat> beet itself, you'll have to cut those into pieces because basically it can only fit in that diameter right there of what you see, okay? That's as big as that feed shoot goes. So, what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and cut these up and feed it on through. So here are the beets. Take them, drop them in. Very often they'll kind of feed through almost on their own. They'll sort of crunch in on their own without a, a huge amount of effort. And I'll put those puppies in there. There we go. Whoops, that one's a little fat, that piece is, but went in no problem. And so there we go. Okay. Finally, I guess the last thing I'll go ahead and juice is going to be this cucumber here. And the whole cucumber obviously is not going to fit in there. So that's the thing about these masticating juicers is the feed throat is kind of limited. You sort of have to cut everything into long, skinny shapes to get it to feed in there properly. Okay? So, let me get this cucumber. And cucumbers are really juicy. So. It'll actually provide quite a bit of juice here. So feed that in there. And now it's often suggested that you rotate your vegetables when using a masticating juicer. I think that's a really good idea. If you keep using the, especially soft vegetables over and over, it has a tendency to want to plug up the, uh, the screen. So every so often, you should switch it around, especially with something crunchy like maybe a carrot, because what that does is it has a tendency to clean off that screen if you clear it out. All right? So there it is. Wait for the last little bit of it to drip out. There we go. That's, that's pretty good. There's still some left dripping out of here. And then I will slowly disassemble and rinse this thing out to show you how, how easy it is essentially to clean. I take the tamper, merely rinse it with water. Take the hopper off, simply rinse that with water. Take the end cap off, and I rinse that with water. Everything just simply rinses out as, as long as you don't give it time to dry on there. Now I'm going to remove the whole barrel out of here and disassemble this over the sink. Pull the screw and, uh, and strainer assembly out, extract the screw out of there, and again, this all pretty much rinses out. You, you really don't need to use a brush or anything else. It just simply rinses right out. There we go. The barrel rinses quite easily as well. All right. The only thing you really do need a brush for is for the screen. It's not that difficult, but basically you can use the. You can pretty much rinse most of it off, except for the area where the screen is. You need to use this giant toothbrush here. Okay, and you simply kind of scrub these areas while it's underwater, and pretty much that's it. Good to go another time now. You simply dry it off, reassemble everything, store it away for next time. All right, let me reach in, get another mug here. We'll take some of this juice. Now, 
you'll notice the juice actually has a little bit of foam in there. Not a lot, but it's got some foam in there. So let me take the pulp here and dump this out in the trash. Rinse this out very quickly. And if I was really bothered by that little bit of foam, I can take this screen that comes with the Omega and simply pour the juice through that screen. You have to be careful at B and, and the, orange, the, uh, the, the carrot juice as well really stains things. Okay, so you'll want to clean those up. You want to be real careful of where you spill those and you want to clean up any spills very quickly as well. Okay, so that looks like that's going to do it. And let me see. I'll just pour this in here. Now I know there's beets and there's carrots and both of those things are sweet. Um, I don't think cucumbers are exactly sweet, but they don't taste too bad. Let me go ahead and see what this what this little concoction here tastes like. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I'm quite surprised. Mm, I can really taste the carrot and I taste the beets coming through. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's it for now. Um, hopefully you understand how these uh, masticating juicers work now.